So in this case, we are going to have a continuation actually on our integration as we had uh, referred to the introduction of our integration uh, by parts. But uh, in this case, we have uh, different questions actually uh, from that introduction that we have been having. Uh, so we want to consider what is it exactly the conditions one that we are going to need in order for us to apply the integration by parts. So remember, this is a condition where you are given two functions from the formula that we are given. Uh, it is f of x by g prime x uh, dx, which is equal to f of x by gx mi uh, minus f prime x uh, gx with respect to x, as I said uh, on the introduction that this formula that we are having here, it is having two functions. There's an f of x and this part of g prime x. One of these functions is supposed to be differentiated, which is our f of x to give us what? This derivative. So we are supposed to differentiate in order for us to have uh, this part. And the g prime x to give us this gx that we are seeing here, it is supposed to be integrated. In that case, you must integrate. But the question is, which part am I going to have as my f of x? Because I'm given two functions, which is very true, as a product of two terms. But of these two terms that I'm having, which one am I going to choose to be my f of x, what is the easier way? I'm given x, e to the exponent of x with respect to x. I'm given, uh, maybe it is e to the exponent of x, and this is cos of x with respect to x. So which part can I use as my f of x? So this is the major part of this class that we are going to be concentrating on. So for us to choose f of x, all right? So to choose... Uh, f of x, all right? So in this case, we are considering f of x, the function that we are going to determine uh, its derivative, all right? So to choose f of x, uh, that is the function that we are going to use to determine uh, the derivative with respect to x, all right? So in this case, we are going to use this order, use uh, the order islet. All right, I'm just going to have this in short. That is islet. All right, so this is i, this one. Okay, can just save it like this. So what is this order islet that we are referring to? What does it actually stand for? What is it that we are referring? All right, so the i that we are seeing is representing the inverse trigonometric. So you start... When you are given, let's say there's a question and there is an inverse trigonometric in that question, you are going to choose your f of x to be the, uh, the inverse trigonometric as your first part, right? That's the f of x. So this is in choosing f of x. In this order, you, must, you are supposed to follow that order, all right? So that is the inverse. So there we have got uh, the inverse function. All right, the inverse function that we're talking about is the inverse trig, all right? Or actually, this one is the inverse trig function. As we have our inverse uh, trig functions, these are examples such as the arc sine of x. Uh, maybe you're considering arc sine of what? Of course, this where there is an arc sine, the arc cos, whatever that should be given. These are the ones that you can choose to be your f of x. So you can let your f of x, may, maybe the is an arc sign. So you let that to be your arc sign so that you can find what its derivative from there. So this is the condition. These, uh, that will be the easier part uh, for you to have this integral. All right. The second part after this is the L that is representing the logarithmic function. So when you are given a logarithm, let's say this one is not there. There is a logarithmic and an algebraic what are you going to choose to be f of x? You choose what? Logarithmic. There is a logarithmic and a trigonometric. What are you going to choose? You choose what? Uh, the logarithm, the first part that we are having according to this order. 
So this is what I'm trying to say. So the L there is for the logarithmic. So this is uh, for the logarithmic uh, functions. Any logarithmic function. Uh, remember your logarithmic functions, which are in the form of a lin. Let us just say lin ax for an example. We can also consider uh, after that the algebraic. So the a there is now representing what? The algebraic function. So there we have got uh, the algebraic uh, function. For an example that we can have guys any algebraic uh, as long as we've got these algebraic terms x they can be in uh, x whatever that you are given uh, they can also be under square root can be given maybe the square root of x minus one the square root of two x plus whatever that you're given they can be under the square root still these can be used uh, as the algebraic right so after the algebraic we move on to t which is representing the trigonometric functions so that one is for the trigonometric. All right. So we're going to have trigonometric uh, function. In this case, we can consider, guys, any trigonometric as long it is not what? An inverse trigonometric as long it is not an inverse. Meaning to say you can consider examples such as the sine, uh, the cosine, whatever that should be given as long they are trigonometric and also those basic uh, part that we have on our trigonometric, which can be uh, differentiated uh, as a reverse, or I mean, from the basic, what um, if you are referring the standard functions, all those that are under the standard function, as long it is a trigonometric under standard function, it means it can be used. Uh, so any standard function there, any uh standard all right any standard uh trig function any uh standard trig function can be used all right then the last part is of the exponential all right so the e there is representing the exponential so we have got uh the exponential function which are the ones in terms of e to the exponent of e to the exponent of ax is it just e to the exponent of x is it e to the exponent of 2x whatever that should be given you will choose that one to be your f of x so it is the last part that we can have uh if we are to choose so this is what i'm trying to say we are going to consider uh actually i've already worked with the introduction of the integration by parts but uh, just for the sake of uh, choosing your f of x, most of us have been asking, what is it that we are supposed to consider? So I want you to go through those questions and apply this information. So what I'm simply trying to say is that on those questions, you are given to integrate x uh, sine of x with respect to x like this. So what can you choose to be your f of x according to this order? We have got what? An algebraic and a trigonometric. So which one starts, guys? Algebraic and trigonometric. The algebraic starts. Are we seeing that? Algebraic starts. So in that case, we are going to choose our f of x to be the algebraic, the one that is starting in this order as we are going that side. So we are going to let our f of x in this case to be equal to what? X. That is what I'm trying to say. The remaining part will be what? The remaining part is the one that is going to be integrated. Here we are just focusing what is going to be your f of x. Then you know the remaining part is to be what? Integrated. So this is the condition. You have to consider according to the person. You are given uh, e to the exponent of x and uh, a cos of x like this with respect to x. What are we given? An exponential and what? A trigonometric. According to this part, which starts exponential and trigonometric according to the order, T starts. So meaning to say we are going to choose the trigonometric to be our F of X according to the order, the one that starts. So we are going to choose or to let our F of X to be what? The trigonometric. 
This is what I'm trying to say. So you consider that order that you are given. You have got uh, uh, a logarithmic, um, whatever that you are given, the integral of uh, x squared, all right, uh, times the lean of x, or maybe it is the lean of 2x, or maybe it is the lean of x, whatever that you are given with respect to x like this. Which part am I going to choose to be my f of x? I have what? x squared, which is an algebraic, the lean of x, which is what? A logarithmic. According to this order, which one starts? An algebraic or a logarithmic? You can see that the logarithmic starts followed by what? Algebraic. What is starting according to the order will be your f of x. So the logarithmic is going to win. So our f of x, we are going to let that to be what? The logarithmic, which is the lean of x. This is the idea of, our, of answering. The one that you choose to be your f of x, which part is it? That is the order that you're going to choose. So use so use this uh, in short, eyelet, this word eyelet, which is followed by this uh, to understand inverse trig function, the logarithmic function, algebraic, the trigonometric exponential. So let's revise uh, more with this information, uh, add this information to that introduction that we had. And also, uh, I want you to have this, uh, just let me add this part as we are finishing up. I want you to consider uh, this, this one, the DI method. It is also used, you guys, on what? On integration by parts, the DI method derivative integration. So I want you to check that one. It's another alternative that we have when we are using our integration by parts. All right. So I want you to say, uh, check this one uh, under mathematics N6. I have worked on this one. Uh, Mets N6, you just search um, that one, Mets N6, I method under what? Uh, under integration by parts so that you can see how alternatively we can work out these questions which are under uh, integration by parts using this formula that we are having. This is like the formula that we are having, but we are saying alternatively, there is another part that can be used to replace this formula, which is what? Which is this part of our I method. So can you check that one uh, on a separate uh, time? Uh, so that you understand the basics. So more questions or topics to be covered, guys, the comment section is there. Let us communicate so that I know which areas that I'm supposed to polish up or to work on as you are preparing uh, for the exams which are ahead of time. And also do not forget to join membership for more classes that we are going to have in our revisions uh, in N5, N6 up to yeah, done.